Hello, it's Nicolette, and I am so excited for today's video because I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite feel-good French films. These films will make you laugh, will warm your heart, will make you feel happy, and just overall forget the apocalypse that is 2020. Or, you know, whatever year you're watching this video or, you know, whatever is going on in your life, these films will distract you and help you feel good. Before I get to the contemporary films that are on this list, I wanted to include one classic feel-good French film. Les Demoiselles de Rochefort, or The Young Girls of Rochefort, is a 1967 musical comedy by Jacques Demy. This might be controversial, but I am not a big fan of musicals, but still, I love this film. It, it's great. It's about two twins, Delphine and Solange, and they are making plans to leave the seaside town of Rochefort and go to Paris to find the loves of their life. This film has colorful sets and costumes, big dance numbers, Gene Kelly, and just this undying optimism throughout. Like, every single person in this film is so optimistic and bright and like, hey, you know, I'm single right now, but, you know, I'm gonna find the love of my life and everything's beautiful. There's like no one in a bad mood in this film, so it's impossible to be in a bad mood when you're watching this film. There's also some very catchy uh, songs because, hey, it's a musical. Yeah, overall, um, love this film and highly recommend it. I don't know what it is about period pieces, but something about period pieces always puts me in a good mood. Um, I don't know if it's like the picturesque settings or the elaborate costumes, but you know, there's something about them. So of course I had to put a period piece. Return of the Hero is actually a comedic period piece. This is a comedy set in the early 1800s starring Jean Dujardin and the wonderful Melanie Laurent. It's about Captain Neuville, who proposes to Melanie Laurent's character's sister and is then immediately sent to the war front. He promises to write letters, but never does. So to cheer her up, uh, Melanie Laurent's character writes letters pretending to be him. But things start to go south when he shows up, and in reality, he deserted the army, he's penniless, um, but he starts to take on this fictitious, heroic role that Melanie Laurent's character created for him in the letters. This film has all the charm and aesthetics of a French period piece, but also the wit and humor of a contemporary comedy. Pauline! Bonsoir! Ah, non. Pardon, j'attendais quelqu'un d'autre. Une autre fois, peut-être. Non? It is just such a fun time, and it is guaranteed to take your mind off things and cheer you up. The next film I want to talk about is The African Doctor. This film is based on a true story, and it's about a Congolese medical student who graduates from medical school in France, turns down a job in Africa, and instead takes a residency in a very tiny town in northern France. Due to a miscommunication, his family thinks that they're moving to Paris, but uh, no, they're not. They're moving to this really tiny town. Oui, dans un petit village au nord de Paris. Oh, la Paris! Uh, enfin, c'est un peu plus au nord. Le printemps, les champs élysées Bienvenue, Marie Gauvin. And the people there have never seen a black person, so it's a rough start. It is a super heartwarming, funny, beautiful film, and I mean, the fact that this is based on a true story makes it even more inspiring. Also, like, the fact that it's in the 1970s means you have great wallpaper, great costumes as well, so that's a bonus. The next film I want to talk about technically isn't French. Um, it takes place in Paris and does have some French dialogue in it. Uh, but it's actually written and directed and starring a Belgian couple. Lost in Paris. This film was clearly inspired by the physical comedy of Jacques Tati, and it is just such a fun film. It's a whimsical comedy about a Canadian librarian who receives a letter from her aunt living in Paris, asking her to come to Paris and save her before she's forced into an old age home. But when she arrives in Paris, she discovers her aunt is missing, and after falling into the Seine, losing all of her belongings, and having them found by a homeless man named Dom, the two go on a wild, hilarious, catastrophe-filled adventure across Paris. This is such a fun, charming movie, 
filled with surprises. I was not expecting a lot going into this movie. Like honestly, I hadn't even seen the trailer and it was just so rewarding and wonderful. And I just ended that movie in such a great mood. I could never make a list of feel-good French films without Amelie. Amelie is probably my all-time favorite French film. It never fails to put me in a good mood. It is just so beautiful. It's colorful, whimsical. It has great soundtrack. It has Audrey Toto. Like this film has everything going for it and it is guaranteed to make you feel good. I'm not gonna go into depth on the plot or anything like that. Just like if you have not watched this movie, watch this movie. I did talk about it in my perfect film for each zodiac sign video. So if you haven't watched that, give it a watch. Um, but yeah, that's the list. I hope that these films cheer you up. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification so that you'll be the first to know every time I post a new video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Au revoir.